Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Indisciplined Mind podcast for Wednesday, January 20th, 2016. Uh, so, Sierra is still missing, has not been found. It's still cold. We've hit this um, bank where it's, it's the highs are in the low 20s. Which is better than the highs being in the low, being in the low teens or the tens or whatever. Uh, it's supposed to be 23 today. It's 15 out right now. So yeah, I'm bundled up. I, I actually broke out my my earmuffs. I got a set of those earmuffs that go around behind your head. You know, kind of the the modern earmuffs, if you will. And I got the car heater, heating, and and whatnot. So today is hump day, the middle day of the week. I don't know what I'm really thinking about today. At work, I had a project get delayed again. At least a week, sounds like. And I got a new project. So, um... I'd really like to get the the uh, delayed project. I'd like to get that done. We're really close. We just need to get some user testing done, and we can throw that puppy live. And so it'd be kind of nice to mark that one in the done column. Uh, but not yet. So, yeah, I don't know exactly what the holdup there is. I think it's some sort of a personnel issue. But, uh, yeah, I'm not privy to those details, so I don't know. All I can do is sit and wait. Something I do so well. I'm really good at sitting and waiting. (laughs) I, I, I attributed that to my vast store of patience, which is about the size of a thimble. Yes, and that was sarcasm. Uh, what else is going on today? I, I, uh, it's Wednesday. I had a three-page paper to write uh, for Thursday. And that paper is done. The wife has edited it. And I've processed those edits. Uh, I got to... Uh, I'll probably read through it like once more tomorrow. And then i got to print it out and take it to class. So... I am. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I think it. I think it works. <sighs> it's Wednesday, so the week's half over. That's always good news. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be a bachelor this weekend for part of the weekend because the wife has got a conference, a music conference to go to in Grand Rapids, which is about three hours from here. So uh, she leaves Thursday afternoon. So Thursday night and Friday night, I'm on my own. So uh, yeah, there, there, there will be beer, no doubt, and there'll probably be some more Die Hard going on. I said I'm gonna work my way back through the series again. I think I have them all. So. I can do that, and then I need to. I need to get watching some of my Christmas presents uh, because my father-in-law. We did. We did the name exchange thing, and my father-in-law had my name, and he got me uh, Avengers: Age of Ultron, which is cool. I'm looking forward to watching that again. And he got me um, 24: Live Another Day. So, yeah, I need to watch that again. Uh, it'll be kind of cool to watch that. Well, I haven't seen it since, it since it was out. I'm kind of... I, I, there, there was an announcement, I think it was earlier this week, might have been late last week, that they're going to make another 24. Uh, they're going to do the 12-episode 
format like they did for the last one, but it's not going to have Jack Bowers. It's not going to have Kiefer Sutherland. They're going to have it be uh, a new character, which I believe they have uh, ascertained is going to be black. But they've got some of the original producers on there, and uh, I don't know. I'm kind of we'll see how it is. You know, I'm kind of hopeful that maybe we can they can work in some cameos. Of some people, you know, Jack or Chloe or whatever. Or, um, but it should be interesting. It's an it's an interesting world. Uh, and as long as they get, you know, a, a, somebody good to play, uh, the, the lead. Somebody said that they wanted it to be uh, Idris Elba. I think I'm saying his name correctly. And, and that would be cool. There's probably some other ones, other actors that would fit the bill nicely. Um, but, but uh, yeah, so I guess I'm going to be interested to see what, what comes of that. It's always a little scary when they take, you know, a favorite, you know, franchise and hand over the reins to somebody new. As far as the lead actor, you know, it can be done. You know, Doctor Who certainly attests to that. They've done it since I was born. Uh, they've been able to do it. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, because Doctor Who literally started the year I was born, 1963. that, I don't know what I'm thinking. Um, you know, talk about other TV shows. We're enjoying the last season of Downton Abbey. It's obvious this is the last season. They're, they're tying up a lot of loose ends. Uh, they've tied some up. They're tying more up. It's, it's nice that we've, we've entered an era of of television, of storytelling, whatever you want to call it, where by and large, depending upon the popularity of the show, if, if the show's been, you know, you know, had good popularity and maybe has been waning toward the end, that there is consideration of, okay, let's let's do one more season, let's do one more show, let's provide some sort of closure. for the audience. Uh, you know, I, I, I think that's... I, I think it's, it's something that I appreciate as an audience member. It makes good financial sense. I think. Yeah, and, and, and the reason is, is you know, do you really want to do you really want to buy the DVD of the show knowing that you know, nothing is really resolved to speak of. Uh, you know, which has happened on some shows that I've watched. You know, Flash Forward, which was, I thought was a spectacular show. Uh, well, maybe not spectacular, but I thought it was a really good show. I enjoyed it quite a bit. And they ended it after the first season. But, you know, they had left it on a big cliffhanger. And it's just like, tough luck. So yeah, it's kind of nice that that uh, there seems to be more and more of a you know willingness to give the creators of the show the ability to complete their thoughts, if you will, to 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 wrap it up, to to end the storylines how they want to how they want to end it. That's not to say that there aren't controversies and such things. You know, you can credit, uh, you can look at Battlestar Galactica, you can look at Lost, uh, you can look at The Sopranos. There are three that come to mind, but you know, I, 
I think an ending is better than no ending. So, my two cents on that. But I am at ten minutes, and I think I will let that be a podcast for today. So, I will be back tomorrow, and I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you. <laughs>